Oh, I'm back at it. Nice 23 degrees and windy out. Um, blew a lot of the leaves out. Which nice, which is nice. Um, apologize for the wind. It's really windy. So, today's goal is to take the boost controller out, which I already did, which is right here. Then we got to drain the coolant and get the turbo out. That's kind of the checklist for today. So, the turbo is there. Uh, what I'm going to do is release the engine mount, the rear engine mount down there. Um... Hopefully swing the motor forward a little bit. I might, all the charge pipes are out of the car, so I might be able to swing that motor a decent amount. We'll see though, I am not sure. But, we'll just pull that out once that's out. Um, we gotta tie into, T into the coolant line. So I believe that's right here. So we just gotta tee off into that. And then once that's teed off, we should be able to start putting on the actual kit, which I do need to show you guys. I've been slacking on that for sure. If you're trying to drain coolant from the Focus ST, it's right up there. You got to take this stupid fucking clip off and it, it's that right in there. Fucking loser designed that shit. That shit is so dumb. <sighs> fucking went everywhere and I got to be climbing in this fucking bullshit all fucking day. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is this? Golly, man. This shit is everywhere, too. Son of a fucking bitch. You know... Whatever. We coolant drained. Now we can go start taking all fucking coolant lines on the back of the turbo. Great. Wonderful. Alright, well... Let's cut the progress. Um... Coolant in the in the cut feels good. Coolant just fucking oh that's ice. Yeah, feels good. Feels real good. You know, I feel like there's an easier way to this. Coolant coming out that side and that y'all get hit at, at every, every angle. This shit tastes terrible. I'm getting rocked. I'm not sure. I mean, it's gotta stop soon, right? Like, it's got to. I'm tight and rubbish now. Alright, I guess I just wait. <laughs> Turn back in later. Fuck oh, me. Oh, and my hands are so nice. Okay. So, the turbo is out. All that fucking room, baby. Get under the car. Fucking finally, I fought this for so long. So, drain. Feet is, is still in. So that's the feed line. Sweet. All right. Looking fucking good. Uh, yeah, it took way too fucking long, but pretty much everything that I need out is out now. And this is the BNR ST71 but <clears throat> right here BNR um, it's an internal waste gated turbo so it's not bad no shaft play 
pretty clean inside. I mean, it only has a thousand miles on it, so no oil. So this thing will be for sale. Get rid of that thing. And now we can start putting on a custom kit. Fuck yeah. It's about fucking time. So I did, I was suspecting a cracked head. Fuck. So it doesn't look like it, honestly. I mean, I'm gonna get a better look. Let me pull this gasket off. Look at the gasket. It doesn't look like it. The gasket looks good. There is some rust, but I don't see where there would be a coolant. Let me try to line that up a little better. at the surface area of the head it doesn't look like it would be cracked anywhere I think I have a light here I do I just want to see if I can stick this somewhere get even better yeah i don't there's no sign i mean carbon buildup is fucking crazy in there but it is not wet one bit i don't think my head is cracked Ooh, actually what is that you see that That might have been where I just wiped, actually. Let's see if it's still there. Yeah, that's where I just wiped. I don't see... Anything that would suggest... A cracked head. Let's see if I can put you down there. I don't know if you can see it. I guess we're going to rock with this motor from now on. Truly. I think we're just going to rock with it and send it. Um, we do have another motor on the way. So, fuck it. We'll do the base map on this motor. Base map on this motor. And then, yeah, we'll send it. If it blows up, it blows up. If it's solid, I'll build the other motor. Um, and then we'll just take our time with that. Aw, oh, man. That is... Seen better days, truly. Okay. Sweet. Alright. So for the exhale kit, you guys... Some of you guys wanted to see it. This is my downpipe. Um, it was cut and welded to fit, um, onto this, which is my crossover pipe, which is going to sit somewhere like that, right? And then this right here is going to attach to the head, you know, it's going to be somewhat like that. And then I have a 62, 66 turbo. This is from Boosted Labs. I gotta redo the housing. I bought it used. And yeah, that'll sit pretty decently. I do need to buy. <laughs> yeah, I need to buy a new coupler. Probably new intake. Everything like that just to let it breathe. I don't think I can get away with that, just a bigger coupler. I think I need to go 
bigger on everything there. And then, yeah. Sweet. Fucking phenomenal progress. If only get some fucking money back for this BNR. Probably like 800 bucks. You know, Facebook marketplaces. They're fucking crying wine all day. If I should sell it for a grand. Ah, but. Sweet. Alright. The goal for today is to get this downpipe on and then connected to my intake or crossover pipe. So, a little bit of snow. It's actually warmer than it was the other day, honestly. But, hopefully we can make a little bit of progress before it starts snowing a little harder later. Those two, and hopefully I can try to get the oil feed and the oil return line installed as well. Those are the two, four goals for today. This, that, return, oh, and drain, sorry. So, um, let me pull up the camera. Have the downpipe in, gasket. Now, it's coming up here. You can kind of see this brace right here. That's where the intake or crossover pipe is going to hit. Um, I got my sensor here. Damn, it's fucking wet as hell down here. I ain't gonna lie. Now I just need to tighten up all the bolts. Once these are tight, I'm gonna push it to the max height. And hopefully everything lines up. Check back in in a second. Alright. So, right now, we have my oil feed line ran which is right here and then my oil drain which is right here so quite a bit of line to work with I just wanted to get these things uh, ran soft ran they're not uh, tight or anything like that just enough to keep moisture and stuff out of there um, put you down for a second This is the old oil return. Oh, well, dripping oil everywhere. That's nice. Um, this will be my new feed. And that's going to come around. I want to plumb it on the back. And then have it sit over here where the turbo is. And this right here, of course, I said drain. It should be enough for a nice line underneath so the turbo's gonna be sitting like right here in this area so probably come underneath my shifter cables as well as the feed and I'll run them back down over here come up and then the turbo will sit over here um that's kind of the plan right now I'm still trying to figure out what to do with these two lines here just because that intake will sit right in here and then on the back of the intake it'll come across back here so my main concern is heat here and heat on the actual lines themselves so these two lines or well, these three lines actually this one I feel like I could move and get away with maybe pop it off here and run it on the bottom as well with the oil feed and drain so this one I'm not too worried about right here it's these two lines right here I'm not really sure what I want to do with those yet um yeah I guess time will tell for that but these two lines 
loosely plumbed looking good down there oil feed I don't know if you can see it, it's right there um, just had a little male adapter to female adapter down there um, into the block I need to put a copper washer in between and then that one is loose as well the drain and the drain is loose itself as well a little bit so that needs to be tightened I need to make sure I tighten those fucking things honestly um what else I think that's about it for right now um the rest of the today is kind of just figuring out the cooling part the cooling system um I had an idea for this which is essentially um goes to the block to the turbo so this is my coolant return right so this my turn uh damn my cte kicking in this is my return so it goes from the block to the turbo um this line right here i don't know if you can see it's this second line right there that is coolant overflow that is this right here so this came up with the bnr i no longer need it that reminds me i need to take this because i'm selling that turbo and this needs to be with it but yeah that's oil here it is so this is going to go from the block to the turbo what i was thinking about is putting this up to the block screwing it down cutting or splicing it maybe here or here for now putting a hose clamp on one end and looping it into this one right here if I can get it this right here I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure I need to double check to see if that's gonna work or not all right Whew. Ah, I'm bitching out um, I'm calling it a fucking day on this I am fucking wet freezing is 20 degrees and I am dying so I thought I was going to get bored on this weekend but you know it is what it is we got the car taken apart pretty much so you know can't be too upset now it's just kind of piecing together the kit like I said running into some snags with some lines and moving some shit because I have no fucking room uh, pretty much plumbed up these lines drain feed which is nice I'm thankful I got that done at least the next thing I got to do is paint the turbo so if you guys are interested in painting the turbo you guys can see that progress I do need to find another strut bar this one does not fit with the kit on it so small things small things small progress today but we got the downpipe in, gasket, sensor, that's all in, perfect. The last thing is the crossover pipe and fitting everything else, which turns turning out to be the hard part. So, baby steps, figure it out. Can't be too upset about it. Um, yeah see what we could go Let's see what I can come up with with this I just have no room in here so if anybody has any suggestions on what to move um please let me know I'm a little strapped on what I'm doing here but it's probably because it's 20 degrees and I'm soaked but that's pretty much it uh, for part two I wish I got more done for you guys but fucking failed a little bit on this uh part kind of died off but we'll see we'll see what we can do uh next weekend hopefully it's a nicer weather appreciate the love peace out guys